Hello, this video is going to provide a brief overview and example usage of the focus menu system. Let's start off by looking at an example menu using the regular UMG widgets. We have a uh, horizontal box here and inside of that we've got a couple of vertical boxes with some buttons inside of them. Now uh, you could have something set up where these buttons were showing an image here so that these buttons were not perfectly aligned. Um, the gamepad usually will have no trouble navigating up and down between these, but it'll have difficulty trying to figure out how to get over here because the left and right navigation will typically look for widgets that are directly beside it uh, in some fashion. So trying to get to these ones doesn't always work. And especially when you have another button, you know, out here, maybe a back button or something like that, the normal setup just doesn't really have a way to properly see these. So if we look at this menu running here, you know, we can see we have focus with our mouse and, you know, everything highlights normally. But if we start using the keyboard or the gamepad, nothing happens. Uh, if I do put my mouse here and click on it, you'll see this little dashed line and this is what Unreal uses to show that the button has some kind of focus. After clicking on it, I can use the gamepad or the keyboard to navigate up and down between these buttons, but it's impossible for me to normally navigate to these buttons over here. So what we're going to do is replace these buttons with our focus buttons to show how you can get explicit navigation and control where the player navigates with their keyboard or gamepad. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, get rid of these two buttons here. We'll delete those and we'll go up here and grab our focus buttons. So we're going to grab two focus buttons. Now these have a default style. You can of course go in to the main blueprint for these and change the default style if you wish uh, but we'll change this to down here we'll change this to button one and button two and then we're going to take another focus button and replace this one over here we're going to make him fill at the bottom we'll get rid of this old one change him to button three. Now in this section uh, on the widget you are able to configure all of the normal styles and everything that you want for these buttons. So this SLT, this means the selected button background and the NRM means the normal style or the unselected style. So you can set these up in here and it'll reflect that when the player is navigating to and from those. Uh, and then we'll put another button over here. We'll put this, anchor him in the right corner, and drag him down here, and delete button four. And we'll rename this one here, button four. Okay. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to set up our explicit navigation. So as you can see, as part of the focus menu options here, we have our left, right, up and down navigation. So we're going to set this by telling it which other button that we want to directly navigate to. So focus button one here, which is just called focus button. When we go down, we want to go to focus button 150. So our down navigation, we'll change this to 150. And on 150, our up navigation, we're going to change that to focus button. Uh, over here from button two, now maybe from button one, but not from button two or however you want to do it. You can do it from both or one or the other. We, when we navigate right, we want to go down to focus button 291. So we'll do our set our right navigation here to focus button 291. Over here, we're going to set our left navigation to go back to 150. So we can set 150 there. And then from 291, when we go right, we want to go to button 4, which is button 498 is the name the widget has given, the UMG has given us. So let's go to 498. And from here, when we go left, we want to go back to 291. 
So when we do this, let's have a quick look here. But first, one thing we have to do is set our actual focus. So when we run these menus, when you first load the menu, you need to tell it which button to set the keyboard focus. This is kind of like the default button that we want to use. Now we can do this one of two ways. Um, after sa saving this menu, we can say that, okay, focus button, this is going to be our default button. So we can go into wherever it is that we load our menu and we can pull off this, get focus button. And then we can pull off our focus button and use a function called focus it. Now this is one way to do it. This is explicit, but this only works if you're loading your menu from here. So if you load your menu from somewhere from here first, and then within that menu, you're going somewhere else and coming back, this will of course not be called. So an alternative way to do this is to go into the graph on your menu. Uh, we got to look at our functions and we want to override uh, on focus received. And this means anytime this menu receives focus, it's going to, we're going to pull off here, get our focus button. We're going to focus it. So anytime we get focus, whether we're coming from the first time we load the menu or somewhere else, then we can get our focus this way. Okay. So, but for now we're going to just delete that. We're not going to override that. Okay. So those are the two ways you can do it. So we'll do it this way for now, just to show how it works. So now when we go back to our level here and we start our menu, you can see right away that Unreal has focused on this button. You can see the dash around it. And if I use the gamepad, I can go up and down. I can go right. I can go all the way back and forth here. It's no problem. Okay, I can do the same thing on the keyboard. There's no problem here for me to navigate going back and forth using this explicit navigation. And you can see each time it displays our selected style, it sets it back to the normal style, and then if we want to use a mouse, we can still use a mouse, and it'll remember where's our focus. We don't even need to click, just mousing over can change our focus, but it'll remember where it is and we can navigate from there. Now this little dash, um, this is not very helpful in showing user focus, which is another reason we built this system, because if you're playing a game in uh, you know, big picture mode on Steam on your sofa, this dash can be a little difficult to see. So with this, you can set an explicit button style, you know, that you want to show for, for each one. Um, makes it a little easier to see. So if you want to get rid of this dash, you can go to project settings, search for focus, and look for render focus rule. And you can set that to never. And if you set that to never, and then we come back in here, now that dash will be gone, and you will just have your button style. And then you'll, you know, it'll look a little cleaner and you won't need that. Uh, let's have a quick look at one of our other uh, focus widgets here. Uh, let's look at our combo box just to see how that works to show that it works uh, the same as a regular combo box and that we can navigate to and from it. So with our combo box, uh, one thing we want to do is we want to be able to have our options. So we have option one. option two and option three and we'll go down here and default select option one <coughs> sorry now as soon as we've entered that you'll see it pop up here we can go ahead and change this to the middle but we will still have to set our navigation here so for our up navigation uh, we want to go to button three which is 291 So we'll go ahead here and choose 291. And from button three, now going right, we're going to button four, but going down, uh, maybe we want to go to option one here. So going down, we'll go to our focus combo box. And even from this focal combo box, if we want to go right to button four, we can set that up as well. So button four is 498, so we can set that up as 498. 
And we also have all of the events are available here. So on selection changed, on opening, on visibility changed, you're able to bind all of these uh, to it. So that's no problem there. Uh, on our buttons, you on hovered is available, but you don't really need to set that up because the selected and normal style options kind of do the similar thing. You can still bind them if you want to do other things though. So like if you wanted to put a text box down here that displayed text when you had one of these buttons selected, you can use the on Hubbard event to set the text in that box. So that's still available if you want to use it. So let's have a look at how this combo box works here. We'll go back to our menu. And we should be able, there we go. So we can navigate our combo box and we can go back up to our button, no problem. If you guys have any questions uh, about this, feel free to email us, uh, comment on the YouTube video, or ask us a question on the Unreal Marketplace. We'll be happy to help you with anything. Thanks.